Do you wanna know what my favorite form of pampering is? Face masks are my favorite form of pampering ever. Have you ever wondered how to actually do a face mask? Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Perrier, Platinum Premier Leader of my team of Poshpreneurs, and today I'm dressed like a soldier. In December, my team of Poshpreneurs are being brave, and our very first challenge is a face mask selfie. So I thought, hey Jessica, this is perfect timing to teach all of your subscribers how to do a face mask. Step one of doing a face mask is to put on a headband and get all of that hair out of the way to reveal all of your skin that you're going to be pampering. Step number two is to wash your face with your favorite face wash. Mine is BFF. My bathroom is in an absolute state of chaos, so there's no judging here. <laughs> Once your face is prepped, you're ready for your mask. Now choosing a mask could be an entirely different video. So for today's purposes, I'm going to detox with Cackle Spackle. Where'd my mask go? Good thing my bathroom's so clean. <laughs> and I like to apply my mask while my face is still damp. I like to use a brush to apply my mask. You can totally just use your fingers, but the brush really allows you to get a nice, even thin layer. And it really preserves the product so that you use a lot less product when masking. Plus it's luxurious feeling. And if you're wondering what kind of a brush, this is just a fan brush that I got at Michael's, like in the painting section for super cheap with a coupon. Like I said, we're doing a masking challenge in my team today and tomorrow, but if you want to participate, feel free to post your masking selfie too and tag me. I would love to see your beautiful mask selfies. The directions on Cackle Speckle say to leave it on for five to 10 minutes. I'm at about eight minutes now and you can tell that it's mostly dry. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell because when I touch it, blah, 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 blah. I don't have any mask coming off on my hands. So you wanna wait until the mask is dry, but not overly dry, all right? And when you're using a clay mask, you know how some masks, when you smile, you can see it actually crack? You really don't wanna be using a mask that's cracking because that will be overly drying to your face. You really want to be able to move your face still when you're wearing a mask, even when it's completely dry, just like this one is right now. And what I like to do to remove my masks is I have my washcloth and it's totally wet. And so I'm just going to lay it onto my face and really kind of moisten the mask before I go to remove it. It's just softening the mask so that it will remove a little easily, a little more easily, if you will. And you can see then it just wipes right off. Once you've removed your mask, you're going to go ahead and finish off with your regular routine. Maybe a toner, a serum, a moisturizer. I'll show you what I use in my everyday routine and you can use whatever you'd like. I love Set the Tone as my toner. I use just a little bit. The toner is not liquidy, it's more of like a gel. And so I feel like it's so soothing whenever I apply it. Also going to help to lift any kind of mask residue that may be left behind that you didn't get. But if you do my little trick of kind of moistening it with the, with the washcloth before removing it, you shouldn't really have any left. Okay, and then for my moisturizer, I alternate between a couple of them. Um, Call Your Shrink is my current love. And whatever you do, I super recommend mixing a drop of Can I Be in with your moisturizer. And I'm ready to go for the day. And that, my friends, is how you do a face mask. Women's Health Magazine um, this month had a little article about different ways to make your face glow, right? And inside they talked about CBD. Famous facialists are incorporating CBD into their treatments. I've been using our Can I Be oils on my face ever since they came out, and I truly do feel as though it has resulted in a calmer complexion. If you have any questions whatsoever about face masking, or about the oil, or about my posh life, then feel free to shoot me a message. You can connect with me on Facebook, here on YouTube, over on Instagram, whatever works for you. I'll drop all of my contact information down below. If you enjoyed learning how to do a face mask, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. This month in December, I'm being brave with my Poshpreneurs and I would encourage you to do the same. I hope you guys have a happy holiday and I'll talk to you in my next video.